Welcome back. Now we start presenting the problem that we will solve using microbial genetic algorithms. The problem says that we have the coordinates of 10 short line segments or dashes as you can see in front of you. Five of these dashes form one dashed line, the other five form another dashed line. So this is um, an interesting problem uh, in image analysis, in object recognition, things like that that we can, for example, read an image, read the pixels and try to find the coordinates of each of these dashes and then check whether this group of small dashes actually make up a long dashed line so the dashed line, the beginning can be here and the end can be here likewise for this one right, so assume that we do know the coordinates so we know x1, y1, x2, y2, x1, y1, x2, y2 for all of these dashes and we want to automatically find the um, coordinates of the dashed line so the beginning and the end assume we want to find that using um, genetic algorithms now let's try to define what a dashed line segment is well it's a set of shorter line segments a set of these dashes elements are approximately collinear so what we say is that they need to be collinear within uh, RC, RC is the radius of collinearity so they are collinear and every element uh, of it has length of um, approximately dashed length so basically what we'll say is we will say that each dash each, I'm sorry, each dash will have approximately DL length so we'll have that parameter we'll, we can declare it in our program and then we'll say that each two consecutive dashes will be uh, away from, from each other by a distance we'll name that ds and we use these for example to say for example that if this dash and this dash if the distance between them is less than or equal ds then they are adjacent what that means is this dash for example won't be adjacent to this dash because the distance is too far although they are collinear and both of them have length DL, approximately DL, but they are not adjacent, so uh, uh, we can't consider them adjacent because the distance between them is much larger than DS. I hope that makes sense. So dash line, this is how we define it. And by the way, I'm going to ask you as a professional courtesy to cite this paper if you use my work, for example, to uh, in, in your problem in automatically detecting the coordinates of a dashed line, right? Please cite this paper. Now, the way we're going to represent the solution is as follows. Because we have 10 dashes, then we can have uh, an array of size 10. And bec because we have two groups, uh, five belong to one group to one dashed line, another five belong to another dashed line, then we can uh, use a binary representation and say, uh, for example, we will use number one to represent dashes that form one line and zero to represent dashes that rep form the other line and here what we'll do is we'll put the actual coordinates of the dash of the small uh, uh, small dashes in an array and then use their coordinates so let's assume that we have our dashes here these ones here we have the, the coordinates x1 y1 x2 y2 and so on and so forth then we place them in an array and then we use their indices so here this element for example is element number zero in the array that represents the coordinates of, for example, the first uh, dash in, in, in the, the array of dashes. This one here represents the coordinates of the second dash, dash in the array of dashes and so on and so forth, right? So we'll use one to represent five dashes that belong to one group and zero to, uh, zero to represent the other five dashes that belong to the other group or to the other line. One thing I'd like uh, to mention here that we will condition that we know the order of the dashes. What that means is, if, for example, this one, this one, one, two, three, four, five, these will be in the right order. So this be the first dash, the second dash, the third dash, the fourth dash, and the fifth dash. So we know the order. Let's say, for example, from left to right, or from right to left, or from top to bottom, or bottom uh, top, right? The reason for this is because if we don't know the order, so if this, for example, is the first dash, 
and the other one is this one here maybe the third dash then when we check the adjacency uh, of the group of five dashes it becomes more difficult and this is called the uh, permutation problem right and we'll come to that in the next video here we're just we're just solving we're just solving a simple problem we will come to how to solve a permutation problem in the next video that for example that kind of problem will have um, uh, different for example crossover and um, mutation uh, 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 techniques right we'll come to that as we mentioned so remember that we condition that we know the order um, so from left to right or from right to left and five of the short line segments form one dashed line the other five form another dashed line the first one will be the ones the other one will be the zeros right i'll stop here in the next video we'll have more detail about the representation and about how to uh, code this idea thanks very much